Um, my name is Rochelle Spence. I um, am a descendant of the Macduff clan in Fife, Scotland. An artist is someone that creates something. But I also think that creative minds tend to think in various layers. So they won't think of a couple of things at once, they'll think of ten things at once. All of my work is installational and it's all to do with place and space and the land. And I generally always work off of that first um, or, so, or some kind of vision that, that comes um, and then they kind of meld together and your work coincide with either one. Um, there's all the fire and lantern stuff that I do that, um, that I first learnt from Neil Cameron uh, um, that I did with the, a community, a very small community in Jatawangi in Indonesia and that evolved out of building relationships with those people and, and the practice and the, and the form came out of that. Aesthetically I work on poetry and performance, symbolism and all of that sort of stuff so every minute thing has a meaning and there is intention behind it from my point of view and that is not necessarily what the reader will read into it and I do prefer to keep that my own meaning to myself because I don't want to assume my background onto somebody else because somebody else could read something completely different into my work mm -hmm. so at a sense it does have a meaning but it's also up to the audience to to make their own sense of meaning mm -hmm. I, I do think there I do think differently from others but I think everybody thinks differently from others as well um, I may be able to see things that somebody else can't and therefore that other person can see things that I can't. So, yes, I do look at things differently. The culture that I live in, uh, if I'm going to go for the Australian Western culture, I, am, I guess I'm heavily influenced by it because I detest it, basically. Um, there are some good things, there's always good things and, and bad things, but I just become so overwhelmed by its massive negative force that I just, sometimes it's like, okay, I think I might pack up and leave now. <laughs> but then, because I work in the Indigenous community quite heavily, there is that spring of hope and that there is a beautiful thing here that but I guess the worst part is is, is having the illness and, and and having that blanket of insecurity because I from what I've seen is that all mental illness at the core of it is an insecurity of some some kind. Where that came from you know it's very deep seated and all of that and that that can play a lot on you and, and you could be marketing yourself or creating more work when when you're just debilitated you're just just getting through a day and just surviving takes a lot of effort and so you kind of get that out when you have the energy mm. in your work but when you don't have the energy there's just no point of doing anything at all you just need to rest Making yourself do that is the, is the biggest key to make um, to manage yourself. I guess I'm trying to delve into it and 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 try and make people understand the layers of of that meaning. That has to do with not madness but truth, which I'm kind of hoping in this piece I'll be able to say everything that I wanted to say. Mm. It's certainly a dialogue, and it. There's stages of that, and then when before it sort of becomes public, it's like, oh crap, will people actually get it, or will they understand? You know, will they understand? Or 
what kind of conclusions will they make of me out of this work? There is that kind, of, that fear. Um, but already by that time, it's already too late. Have the courage to interact with the work and to create an understanding of compassion for the work and fossick through things. And, yeah. <laughs>